Hey guys, it's Laura. Um, everybody's been asking me what's in my backpack when I go on these um, overnighters. So I've learned a lot these last few trips and I have upgraded some of my equipment and I'm down to um, for a one day trip um, with food and water, I'm down to like 25 pounds, which is really great. So let me show you what's in here because everybody keeps asking. So, um, right now I have the um, Kelty Grand Mesa 2, two person tent in my backpack. It weighs about four pounds. Um, I usually take this whenever I'm taking my dog with me, so we have plenty of room. Uh, but when I'm on the AT, I'll be using my two pound uh, Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL1. Uh, it's a one person tent. So anyway, a little bit heavier on the tent side than, than I typically will, but that's for our comfort. Um, my backpack is the Hyperlite Unbound 40 liter um, pack. It's um, somewhat waterproof. It's got a big pocket for the tent to go in here. Another smaller pocket down here. Lots of space on the sides. Um, two hip belt pockets for snacks and such. Uh, lots of uh, cordage here to clip things to. Um, it has a, a, a roll top closure which I love. Um, this company was started by some through hikers. So this thing is made uh, for ultralight backpacking and it's durable. It stands up to all of the beading uh, to come. So anyway, unbound, 40 liters, what's inside it? Um, also I have a pocket that I bought, which is optional for my phone. Cause you guys know I love to vlog. So gotta have my technology stuff. So added that piece on to the backpack when I bought it. So let's see what's inside. Are you excited? So number one, I have my knee brace. Um, I usually um, carry a titanium brace with me, but it's a little bit too heavy and um, restrictive. So uh, PT and Ortho said, this is the winner right off Amazon for 20 bucks. And it's light. Um, camp shoes, my Merrill camp shoes, I usually take are a little bit heavier than these flip flops. It's the summertime, so taking some lighter flip flops for when I get to camp. Um, this is my new sleeping bag. It's the REI, um, um, Magnum, Magma 30. Um, it's made out of down, um, and sort of structured for a woman's body. So it has more narrow shoulders, but wider in the hip area, a big wide toe box. Um, so you can move your feet around. Uh, just made for women, very light, um, weighing in at about one uh, pound, six ounces or so. Next I have my um, my Helinox um, chair. Uh, this is a luxury item. Uh, may or may not take this. Uh, we're going to see, but it, it is super nice. Um, it has a very tall back, actually, so you can relax after a long day's hike. And it weighs only a little bit over one pound. So, uh, next I have my fire bag, which I have con consolidated quite a bit. Um, just taking the bare essentials this time. So, I'll show you what's inside the fire bag. First, everything's in a Ziploc, in a dry bag. Um, I have my work gloves. I have some natural fire starters here. Um, each one of these squares burns for like eight to 10 minutes. Um, these were gifted to me and um, can't wait to try them. They're all natural. And then I brought my small Gerber saw, which only weighs about seven ounces uh, for some kindling and maybe some fuel logs. And then I did buy a, an extra just fire starter stick uh, just in case everything else goes haywire on me. And then I have my electric um, rechargeable um, windproof waterproof lighter. So that's my fire bag. Um, next we have my food bag. Um, I upgraded to the Sea to Summit 15 liter food bag. Um, I got the drawstring. It was a recommendation from Chris Cage, actually. He started Green Belly Foods and wrote How to Hike the Appalachian Trail, the book. 
Um, he did his through hike in 2012 and I uh, read his book and he recommended this because um, the drawstring is actually really handy um, for hanging on mouse lines and shelters. So um, I went ahead and did that. Plus it's much um, thinner and lighter than the food bag I had before. Um, what do I have in my food bag this time? Um, I've got my coffee, of course, instant coffee. Starbucks is my favorite. Um, I, I am bringing some accoutrement, uh, some creamer and some Splenda because I don't like black coffee, but I am gonna have to learn how to drink it that way before the trail. I have some um, Ziplocs to pack out my trash. I've got my spork. Um, I have my lunch for tomorrow. Um, I have my dinner for tomorrow night. I have my breakfast and um, an extra snack, as well as my rock stop, um, so I can throw this up in the air when I'm hanging this um, from a bear bag perspective. Um, I can get it way up in the in the tree pretty easily with that. And I like that a lot. So that's the food. Honestly, I'll probably pick up a few snacks too. <laughs> um, this is my sleeping pad. Um, it's made by Gear Doctors. It's the Apollo Air. Um, it's also uh, weighs in at under one pound and it has a self-inflating bag, which I don't find super convenient. So I ended up just blowing it up myself anyway, but um, I'm probably user error on it. I'm, I'll keep working on it, but um, it does pump up to about four inches thick. Um, so it's great for people like me who sleep on your side or your stomach um, to give you a lot of support. Uh, next is um, my cooking bag. So everything's in a dry bag. Um, I have these Wise Owl dry bag. I bought the set or got gifted the set, sorry. Um, I have my cup. I have my Jet Boil Jet Power Fuel also gifted to me and my jet boil stove system um, also gifted to me thanks guys um, so pretty much all you really need to be able to do is boil water um, to rehydrate those meals I was showing you before so not a lot of like real cooking going on um, but uh, the, the meals are delicious so that's how we cook um, then I have my clothes bag. Um, again, went with the Sea to Summit 9 liter this time uh, drawstring bag. And um, I'm probably packing a little heavy on clothes right now. Um, I'm going to have to get used to cutting back. But, you know, what do I have for clothes? I have uh, extra pair of socks, um, sports bra, underwear. Um, I have a long sleeve. Um, lightweight technical shirt that was gifted to me uh, that I'm gonna probably sleep in. Um, I have some leggings and I have a pair of shorts. Uh, so that's what I'm bringing as far as clothes. And then I have my uh, Sea to Summit um, collapsible pot. I'm bringing this because uh, that diner egg scramble requires a skillet. So I'm gonna actually use the bottom of this pot as a skillet to make my breakfast. And then finally, uh, this is my gear bag. Um, this is sort of... So as I was getting ready to say, the last thing is my gear bag. It's everything um, else that I bring and I have to work on condensing this stuff because this is about two and a half, maybe even closer to three pounds worth of stuff. So um, I'll show you what I mean by stuff. Um, I have a full size Eros ultralight pillow also by Sea to Summit love their stuff um this is super comfortable my last pillow popped on my trip so I had to get a new one and um thought a, a full size one would be awesome so I got this one and it's just a few ounces um you know I have to have my technology um my wa my Apple Watch Ultra my iPhone um all of these things have to charge as well as my Garmin InReach mini um satellite phone so I actually am bringing two power banks, um, just to be sure. This one actually has some built-in cables, which is kind of nice. Um, and this is the Anchor, um, typical Anchor one that I've had forever that's very reliable, but they're, they're both fairly heavy, but gotta have power. Um, I also changed over my water filtration system from the Katahdin 
system I showed you in previous videos to just a simple Sawyer subsystem on a smart water bottle. Um, lost a lot of weight doing that. I was gonna take two of those bottles of water with me as well. Um, also brought the, the squeeze pouch uh, for that filter just in case. Um, gotta go to the bathroom. I highly recommend these uh, combat wipes by Gaia uh, for women. They're pH balanced, uh, very gentle, biodegradable, extra thick, and um, made for outdoor stuff. Um, I am bipolar. Uh, some of you may know that, others may not. Um, so I have to take medication every single day in the morning and at night, uh, sometimes throughout the day, depending. So um, it'll be a challenge for me to figure out how to keep those um, medications refilled on the trail. But um, this is my little travel medication system uh, where I have my meds um, and some ibuprofen and things like that. Um, uh, my first aid, I really cut back on because, especially for a one-nighter, I really don't need that much. So, basically just a few band-aids, um, some moleskin, um, some antiseptic wipes, safety pins because I've needed those before in a pinch with a tent leak. Um, and then some Benadryl because um, I'm allergic to just about everything. Um, ibuprofen and so forth. That's it on first aid. And then I am bringing a towel. Um, this is by Rainleaf, uh, 16 by 32 inches. So it's a decent size just to kind of wipe up any moisture from dew or other things. I um, might want to clean the dog's feet, whatever it is, before he gets in the gets in the tent with me. Um, this is really super soft, um, actually. It's very lightweight, fast drying, and antimicrobial. So um, all good stuff. I have this, uh, which I actually really like. It flips open, it's very light, um, and it charges both my phone and my watch wirelessly. Um, and the single plug goes into the power bank. So, really like this. Um, and then, I have a trowel. Um, very Also, it's aluminum, lightweight, uh, for digging cat holes. Uh, I have the Aceta Summit um, Ultra Seal Nano Day Pack. So this thing actually opens up into a full day pack that you can use um, and it's obviously tiny and weighs literally nothing. I um, also have, and I've shown these in previous videos, but the tent lights, um, kind of a luxury item, but I really like using this instead of my headlamp. And then of course my headlamp, um, probably gonna upgrade this to a rechargeable one um, that has more of a strong focused beam. And then I have my um, my knife. It's made by Bare Edge, very reliable, and I have that. So that's what's in my gear bag. Only other thing in my pack that I haven't covered yet is I have an optional rain cover for my pack um, because I started storing the tent on the outside. I might need to use this. So that's what's inside, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions for how I can uh, reduce my load even more. Um, thanks for watching. Take care.